Hey guys, so today is not like my normal video because I'm currently going to do a breakup with my ex and things didn't work out between the two of us. So I'm not mad at the person, but I understand sometimes things have to change. So life can be stressful and I've been trying to process my emotions, but it's hard because I live with PTSD and my PTSD has been keeping me from crying and stuff. Since I haven't been crying lately, I'm sorry to feel emotional and I'm going to do more things too. Plus, it's April, what day is it? April 6th and April on April 15th is when my uncle passed away, April 15th, 2018. So I'm like grieving my uncle. Plus I lost my best friend. I'm not sure who to call her, but I'll do a story on her in the future because I don't want her to see my video because we were both YouTubers at some point. And this is my own separate YouTube account, so I don't want her to get at me or anything. So I just want to let you know there's something going on. So, yeah. I'm just going to have like a take it easy day. And right now I'm really late on uploading. And it is 9pm and I haven't been doing much of anything except just being sad. And just doing with heartbreak. And as you can tell, I'm kind of getting emotional. And it is okay to feel this way because when you have grief, it makes you sad. And um, you can feel anger, you can feel confusion, you can feel sadness. With me, I don't feel any anger, I just feel sadness. Sorry. It's just it's a hard time with me right now. I'm going to it. It's my first time ever crying on camera. So. If you ever are going to a breakup, just know you are not alone on this. There are people that love and care about you. And. Just focus on the people that care about you. Don't focus on the people that are mean and just say get over it because it's something you can't simply get over. It's something that it could take time, could take days, months, or years. So just let you know it's okay to be sad. It's okay to cry. And it is, crying does not make you weak. It shows that you're human and you care about people. If you care about people, it shows you really care about them. I'm glad I'm not wearing makeup today because I'm crying. And I haven't been wearing makeup in a while. So, I'm going to go on to other clips besides just me crying.
Okay, I just finished this pink one. Now I'm just getting started with this black one. So, this is what I'm gonna be doing. Plus, I'm gonna have to get ready for showering. So, right now, this is my outfit of the day. You know, I love South Park. So, I got this. And I got this leggings. I'll show you my pajamas tonight. I haven't brushed my hair in days because of how depressed I've been feeling. Brush really quick. It's gonna take me probably like maybe 10 or 15 minutes to brush. Let's see how long it takes me. Oh, how am I gonna get through my room? Oh. My room's all messy. I haven't had a chance to do anything. I'll probably clean my room and I feel happier. And now I'm just like in an extreme depressed state right now. I'm in an extremely depressed state. I just don't want to do anything. I'm just crying. And okay. How do you face me? I'm gonna brush my hair. Take this scrunchie and yeah, my hair. I'm, not my hair, but my wrist, whatever. I can't even say anything. I usually try not to get my hair be so bad. But it is really bad right now. So I haven't brushed my hair in like so long. When you get extremely depressed, you're in a depressed state. It's hard to take care of yourself. Look at my hair, it's all. No. I did this all to myself because I was depressed. I'm still depressed today. Yeah, this is what you call depression here. Can't do much. I'm trying to do self care if I can. It's hard to do self care when you're extremely sad. I have really thick hair. I have father's hair. My mom's hair is more thinner than mine. Lucky her. She does not want to have my hair. Nobody wants to have my kind of hair because it gets like super fast. And it's hard to brush too. I'm gonna have to spray my hair or something with hairspray. But my hair is awful. I'll bring you to the bathroom now and brush my hair. Okay, so I'm trying out this. Um, it is Pantene. It's detangling light conditioning spray. Instantly detangles. So let's see how that works. So apparently it's a hair detangler. But we'll see how it works with my hair. I sprayed some of my hair, so I didn't record that part. But you're gonna see my facial expressions brushing my hair. extremely bad to be honest with you. This is the worst it has ever been. Ouch. It actually hurt. I'm gonna spray my hair as much as I can. I don't really care if I'm gonna damage it or not. I'm pulling my face, I don't get it in my eyes. It smells kinda good. But it's gonna make my hair better, hopefully. This is how bad my hair is. It's extreme bad, mad, extremely matted hair. This is what you call extremely matted hair. 
I'm just gonna do a uh, what we call it. I'm gonna co do a time lapse. I'm like almost done, but I'm struggling really badly with the middle here. And it may ow. Standing and just doing this makes me a little dizzy. I don't know why, but ow. Okay, I might need to feel this. I never tried clean. Okay, I'm losing quite a bit of hair in my brush. The thing is, I have hypothyroid. So, with hypothyroid, it's common for people to lose their hair, which is possibly happening to me right now. My hair is in really bad shape. It is really bad. And I've been brushing my hair for like maybe 5-10 minutes. But, uh, like, it's not letting up a bit. Maybe I need a haircut, but I don't want it short, short. But I don't know what the doctor is. Not doctor, but I don't know what the hair salon's gonna say about my hair. Maybe I might have to have my head shaved. I hope I don't need to be like a cancer patient. My hair is too precious to lose. I'm like really scared about my hair loss. And also how hard it's brush my hair. <sighs> is it getting better? I don't know. I don't think it is. Hmm. It's painful to brush. To brush your hair, it hurts a lot. It looks like I showered, but I haven't showered yet. But uh, my hair is just wet a little bit because I use hairspray in my hair. Like so many times. So... My hair isn't that good, so don't want my hair looking awful. I'm gonna have to shower soon, so I'll show you what I look like later. First, gotta show you how much hair I just lost in my brush. I'm brushing my hair. I know it's kind of gross, but some I think it's my mental health. Like when you have extreme depression, it can damage your hair if you don't brush your hair in days or anything i haven't brushed my hair in days so this is all this hair i just lost in a brush like wow yeah i wash my hands and for soap i have this is from last year it's pumpkin cupcake i love pumpkin who doesn't so i'm just gonna wash my hands really quick It feels to me long, so I apologize for that. It's just like going on in my life for depression from the breakup. Thing. Also, with the other grazing things going on, too. my hair to me ages a brush and I finally got brush yay okay done in the bathroom for now I went that way and then I'm gonna shower and then actually I'm gonna shower soon so I'll show you what my outfit looks like later on so I'm gonna get shower now